Have you got two minutes? I know you're playing. Okay. Um, just a, it's about the last match, one of the referees, but you can leave your stuff here. I just need to talk to you okay. quickly. You've got Ralph, haven't you? Huh? you got Ralph? Yeah, Ralph. Okay. Just thought I'd come in here quickly, because it's just a bit... One yeah, yeah, I'll just quickly chat to you. Yeah. So... <laughs> <laughs> oh so I just God. needed to speak to you about this very serious situation that happened, oh, yeah. which oh, is, good. you are now in the Moscone Cup. So mm. this is your official jersey. Thank you so much. Wow. And we thought, what better time to tell you before your next match? Wow. I was thinking, to be honest, I don't want to think about it in Moscone, but I think every single, every single day. <laughs> That's what we were thinking. Yeah. We were like, do, we think, do you think that he's realised that Albin's lost and now yeah. it's... Okay, I feel bad for Albin, but I feel really happy for me because this year was a tough, tough year for me. I worked so hard to make it in the team and I made it happen. So I, I really proud for me, for all my family, for all the people supporting. So I'm really happy. Thank you. Congrats. <laughs> I was so happy for you. I was like, what can I say that's um, like you've just got in trouble or something? And I was like... <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Until this tournament, you know? I, yeah. I have to put, okay. <laughs> I have to put it on. <laughs> oh my God. That's First yeah, Moscone Cup. Yeah. <laughs> now, if we weren't doing a big shirt reveal, we'd be saying, go out there and play in this. <laughs> can I play with this one? <laughs> no. <laughs> what do you think? Wow. Looks nice. <laughs> Absolutely lovely. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank You're you in. Yeah. You're in. I feel, okay, you don't have to worry anymore. You, you made it. it. I feel, I feel unbelievable. I don't know how I have to play now, but I, feel I know. Nice. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's great. Well, thank um, you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Nice You're good. Nice. Francisco. Bueno, voy a jugar ya, vale. Describe how it feels to be in the Moscone Cup for the first time. Yeah, I feel so excited. Uh, I worked so hard this year to make the team, so I feel unbelievable. It's, it's a nice feeling, so I, I can't wait to go to Las Vegas. You're still in the US Open at the moment with games to be played. Surely you've got your eye now on really sealing the job off this week. Yeah, it's, uh, it's tough to get focused because uh, I'm already announced, so it's tough to me because I have too many, too many feelings right now, but I try to stay focused only round by round. I have, I have to play now, I think, with Buku Link next round, so let's do everything for this. You have been so close before, but it seems this year you found another gear. What has changed in the way you play? I mean, uh, last year I won my first Euro Tour. I think everything changed in my mind, gave me a lot of confidence. Especially in, in the beginning of this year, I won the Derby City in Einbull Classic. So I feel, I feel amazing and I think I'm a different player than the last year. You obviously won the World Cup of Paul, which isn't a ranking event, but it obviously gives you so much confidence and self-belief in the way you play, Paul. At that point there, did you start to feel like just maybe you could get in that Moscone Cup team? Yeah, especially because uh, World Cup of Paul is, you can feel the pressure. It's too much pressure in this tournament, it's called double tournament. But uh, we're talking about David and me every time. We have to, we have to win one time, and this year it's happened. And I think uh, give me a lot of confidence also this this tournament because it's play in this arena with the crown. It's amazing. So just talk me through when you found out the news from Emily that you were going to be in the Moscone Cup. What was going through your head? Yeah, she told me, but uh, uh, I think uh, I was watching the because album we play. I think if you he lose, I get more chance. 
but uh, but I looking for for myself. I mean, if I get get a far in this tournament, of course I, I I'm gonna go. And then you obviously spoke straight to your father, somebody who has followed your career so closely. Yeah, and yeah. It's a special moment. Yeah, it's a special, especially for my father because uh, my father is a pole player. That's why I play because uh, he teaches me a lot. He travels with me a lot. So it's so many things in my mind right now. Also, I, I call after my father, I call my manager because he helped me a lot. He's going to be in Vegas for sure, and my father. So it's, it's unbelievable because I start to, to remind, remember all the people support me when I, when I was young. So it's it's amazing feeling. What has David said to you about the Moscone Cup? You're very close to him, so what has he said about the atmosphere and everything about it? Yeah, he told me it's a different different tournament. You can feel the pressure, it's too many people. But uh, I learned a lot of David. He teach me a lot because we play together, each other. So I hope I can play with him. <laughs> and on that, uh, what would it mean to you if David did join you in Team Europe for the Moscone Cup? Yeah, it's like a dream. It's, it's like a when we won the World Cup of Pole, because we live, we spend all, all, all the time together, we travel around the world together, it's very special, so let's hope he make it in the team. What can the fans expect from you on Team Europe in Vegas come this November, December? Uh, I don't know, I don't know how I'm gonna play because I never play Moscone, but I tell you something, I give them my 100% every single ball. And it's the Moscone Cup heading back to Spain? <laughs> yeah, we work for this, so can't wait for this. <laughs>